So joining us for the rest of the hour is the one, the only Ted Nugent of tednugent.com. Uh, he used to have 20 million followers on Facebook, but they deleted it down to 3 million like they did us. Uh, so the left has all their fake bots. We have real uh, fans. And he joins us right now, one of the probably the most staunch uh, living defender of the Second Amendment. They've been calling for him to be kicked off the NRA board. Jimmy Kimmel, who gets his talking points from Chucky e. Schumer, after they defamed him and slandered him and said that he said no one died. Lying pig creatures. I mean, it's incredible. It's incredible. So he, he he's one of the few people in the same boat as I where they are trying to just absolutely intimidate and shut everybody up right now. We're at such a historic crossroads. Do you agree with me, Ted, that if we back off now and start giving in when when when, when the issue is the stand down by the sheriff's department, this leftist, this Islamist th sympathizer, what does uh, the the uh, king of the uh, defense of the Second Amendment have to say? Well, Alex, number one, greetings from a uh, we the people perspective. I, I, I appreciate the opportunity to speak truth, logic, and common sense I'm with Alex Jones, and thank you for everything that you do. But believe me, uh, mom and pop America, my blood brothers across the heartland, all across this great country, especially here in the Republic of Texas, we are well aware of the orgy of fake news, the the runaway dishonesty, the, the abject... Uh, uh, hatred that comes from the left. It's not the bull, the left isn't bully, and it's, it's it's pure terrorism when they can get away with such nasty lies. And particularly for those of us who really want to save innocent lives, especially as the father of seven and the grandfather of fourteen. And I, I, I've had my Ted Nugent camp for kids, where we've graduated sixteen thousand young Americans with hunter safety and marksmanship and safe gun handling and real conservation and a clean and sober be the best that you can be lifestyle i'm directly connected with the youth of america even though i'm pushing 70 right now but believe me alex what you espouse what you what you state uh, when you speak when i speak uh we know that jimmy kimmel is a liar these these punks on the left they cannot debate me. They've tried in the past, and every time they try with their nonsense and their fake news and their, their dishonesty, I, uh, I crush them. I literally you won all the debates with, Pier with Piers Morgan, all of them. I've, I've never lost a debate, because that's what, which is why they don't invite me back again. But the bottom line is, is the truth and logic and common sense that you're talking about here. America knows that. You know, you've got your dumbing down of America, which is well represented by the, the idiots in the media and most of academia and our own government. I mean, our own government is completely out of control. And certainly the hypocrites in Hollywood who, who have, you know, machine gun toting armed guards but want to ban you and I from owning a squirrel rifle. I, I'm just glad that we're able to get the truth out because they keep claiming that weapons of war are used in these shootings. Lie. There were no assault weapons ever used in any of these shootings because no society would send the heroes of our military into battle with a semi-automatic weapon. An assault weapon is a fully automatic machine gun never used in any of these shootings. I mean, they can't even get the nomenclature properly. They call them clips. There's no clips. Nobody used a clip. They had Ted Nugent, the American people, as you said, know that. I, I, I sense and I see this is the total assault trying to attack gun owners, saying kill the NRA, lying about you, lying about everybody else. Uh, these four uh, horsemen, uh, you know, of the anti-gun, uh, you know, takeover are the only ones we see on the news. Fake uh, town hall meetings. It's on. CNN calling for me to be taken off the air, for us to be banned, and then filing complaints to have... We've now... Uh, they've killed our live streaming on YouTube. CNN trying to kill the First Amendment. What do we do? And when we come back in a few minutes, we'll talk about Trump. We'll have some of the statements here. So he's still speaking, uh, you know, a lot better than Hillary. But, you know, this idea that, oh, we've got to do something and implying that gun owners having their rights restricted, uh, you know, is the issue. What about all the warnings? What about him being on government-issued drugs? What about the stand-down of the sheriff's department? Bingo, bingo, ditto, ditto, ditto. I know how we can win this. We did it in November of 2016. And, Michael, I know exactly how to do this. I know how to get Michael Savage elected by real red state Californians. I know how to do this, and we'll talk about it when we come back.
Absolutely. We got one minute till we go to break. Uh, Ted, do you agree with me, though, that this is the strongest, most focused, most deceptive attack and the, and the, and the, and the bullying and trying to get the banks to not let uh, the NRA and if they go down, everybody else, to not be able to engage in commerce? That is Nazi-level racketeering. That's what you do before you arrest the people. Absolutely. Let me make it perfectly clear. I'm on the board of directors of the National Rifle Association for the last 26 or so years, and I represent mom and pop America, real working hard, playing hard Americans in the asset column who know that we have a gift of life from God and a moral obligation, a constitutional guarantee to keep and bear arms to defend our life. Anybody that doesn't get that might as well call, you know, and see if Michael Moore can give us any I agree. points on... Stay there. Ted Nugent on the other side. This is their main assault. This is it. They know that we're kicking their butt politically, so they're going to come in here and go after everything. What do we do? Straight ahead. So America is founded on the Second Amendment. So-called semi-automatic assault rifles, which they aren't, as Ted Nugent rightfully pointed out, NRA board member, are involved in 2% of federal uh, crime statistics from the entire nation. The FBI reports 2% of gun crime is what you call an assault rifle. It's handguns and shotguns that criminals generally use their by nose. But they use mass shootings, which are flat since the 1990s. They're still tragedies. They never report on Mexico's crime rate that's 10 times, you know, 150,000 dead. They never report uh, on all the millions of times guns are used to stop crime. They never show nationally the guy trying to rape women at a liquor store and attacking them and then, uh, you know, the women shoot them. They never show that. That'll not be on the local news. And when you try to share that on Facebook or Google, they ban it because they don't want you to see that. So Ted Nugent's here, NRA board member. They want him off the board. Uh, they want to have a cucked operation. Trump, who I'd give an A-plus, uh, is like saying, well, maybe we'll stop up to 21. They're still going to get him illegally like Lanza did. Uh, so so uh, this is crazy. What we need is this sheriff, I'm sure you've seen the clips, he says it's not his responsibility if his deputies are cowards and stood down. He's that arrogant. We'll play the clip of the next segment. Uh, and, and, and then you've got these admitted talking point young people out there that if we say, hey, you're spouting Democrat talking points, they lie and say that we're bullying children and that nothing happened. Uh, it's just next level. So you were also getting into solutions, how we fight back. I mean, this is, a, this is obviously the big one. Ted Nugent. Number one, Alex, uh, ditto, ditto, ditto. Thank you very much. But here's the most important battle cry of all. and We proved it in November of 2016. Every American that's listening to us right now needs to be a member of the National Rifle Association. That's job one. And not just being a member ourselves, but we need to sign up our friends, our coworkers, people at school and church, at the barbecue, our families. We need to make the National Rifle Association, which is a, a grassroots organization of families who believe in self-defense and believe in the right to keep and bear arms. It's a self-evident truth. It's not a view. It's not an assumption. We need to make sure that everybody we know are members of the NRA because the fake news, their number one target is freedom. Their number one target is the National Rifle Association, and the National Rifle Association is rock solid in the asset column of America with law enforcement, law and order, and legal gun owners across this land. So that's number one. But let's get right to what you and I first talked about many years ago. As horrible, as, as Saul Alinsky, Nazi, oppressive, tyrannical left as they are, nothing compares to the curse of apathy in our own ranks. We didn't vote for John McCain because he was a he stood for nothing. We didn't vote for Mitt Romney because he brought a doily to a grenade fight. Everybody listening, you need to get everybody you know, families, friends, co-workers, people at church or school, everybody in your life to make sure we do what we did in November of 2016 and vote for Republicans and put the pressure, we the people pressure, for constitutional accountability from our elected employees. What I just outlined, Alex, is the fix. It's how you fix the hatred from the left. It's how you fix the dishonesty of the media and the dumbing down of academia. If we, the people who know better, actually do our job in this experiment in self-government, we can have anything we want, which we prove we got a status quo crusher in November 2016 when a non-politician came in, Donald J. Trump, and represents the real working hard, playing hard families of this country. And if we don't do that, we get what we deserve. That's right. It's ours to lose. 
We just won the first half. They've come out of the bunkers cheating, lying, stealing. They've got 20 players on the field. We've got 11, but it doesn't matter. We've got justice on our side. And if we get aggressive and don't get uh, into a backpedaling uh, with all their fake guilting, when the left funded the Arab Spring that killed over a million people, mainly men, women, and children uh, who were not radical Muslims, they have blood all over their hands. They're the corrupt ones. The, the Democrats uh, came out, as you know, on CBS News, Cheryl Atkinson shipped guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment. They got caught running that false flag. So we need to be in their face offensively. And the president's doing a great job talking about the sheriff standing down and why weren't the warning signs listened to. Well, that's the point. If all the default warning signs aren't listened to and the cops have been out to his house you know, dozens of times for him saying, I'm going to kill everybody, it's not even the cops' fault on those cases because the prosecutors didn't do anything. And this guy's you know, an adult, 19 when this goes down. Uh, so it's just crazy to blame. It's like if somebody runs over somebody with a car. When the jihadi ran over folks in New York a few months ago, they didn't blame the, the, you know, the manufacturer of the truck. It, it's just crazy. What do we do to get back in their face, to get aggressive in the face of this Soros? Soros is funding the Women's March. The Women's March is funding these walkouts. And I see Sheriff Clark and everybody going, it looks like Soros is behind this. You don't just organize this overnight. It Soros is admittedly funding it. So we need to get out there and point this out. Well, a lot of our, you know, good guys, the conservatives, the, the NRA members, there's a lot of shouting and fist pumping at the television. But when it comes time to do our job as Americans, we don't get out there and vote. We don't put pressure on our elected officials. You know, Alex, I'm just a guitar player, but every elected employee in America knows exactly what the Nugent family demands, what we expect from them. Constitutional accountability. Americans don't raise enough hell. Americans don't spotlight enough cockroaches with their elected employees. And then in so many instances in California, we're talking about the great Michael Savage running for office. I know real California. California is a solid red state. You only have high crime blue smudges where Democrats and liberals ruin everything. But if you look at the map of America, we are rock solid red, except for liberal Democrat high crime blue smudges of hell. So those people in all those red zones, they've got to get out there and raise more hell and vote. And if we, if we, what I did in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, Alex, is I wallpaper and carpet bombed the media, and I scolded the licensed hunters, eight hundred thousand plus. And by the way, they know at the White House it was probably Ted Nugent and, and of course Drudge and others, but that took us over the top in those former uh, Democrat purple states. I mean, and you just. I mean, I know, I talked to folks who were involved. You were working 16 hours a day because you get it. The globalists want to break our will. They want to conquer us. And taking our guns is the ultimate coup de grace. We are dealing with a known group of criminals. You know, I, I experienced it in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Of course, we all know that that's why we have President Trump in the White House. And I... In the media, I was on every talk show and every news show and every rock station and did interviews nonstop for months and months and months in those three pivotal states. And I explained how embarrassing it is to, to qualify as a reliably blue state in those three states where you have more licensed deer hunters than the, the rest of the country combined. And I'm telling you, Alex, it was as easy as getting those licensed hunters as a voting block. The Teamsters and the union guys that have been lied to and scammed by their union lying fake news liberal Democrat leadership. We finally got that voting block active. And I'm telling you, Alex, 50 states, we could do it in 50 states. Even if the real Californians in red California, if they just went to the polls, we could unseat the lying Diane Feinstein who's on Stay record. right there. Her own party's thrown her overboard. In fact, she, exactly. She can't even get the nomination. We'll be back to talk about the globalists have their storm. We have ours. And we're launching the counteroffensive for America right now.